the next tutorial that you'll read at W3 Schools is dealing with links. And I thought, let's start by going back and revisiting external links for just a minute. I've got the Gettysburg Address page up. And at the bottom, there is a link to, the, to Abraham Lincoln Online. Let's have a look. And there it is. It's a separate web page on a separate website. Now, an external link is to another web page. It could be a web page within your website or a web page at an entirely different website like this one. Let's take a look at the coding. Load up Gettysburg and let's come down and I'm just going to have to make this just a tad wide, wider so you can see. Oh, that's a great big long, very long link. Okay. Now, let's highlight that code. Hopefully you can see it all. What we're using here is an anchor tag. It's a toggle tag, so we turn it on and off. And the element for the anchor tag is the letter A. The next thing we do to make it an external link is we add the href attribute. And the syntax of this is href equals and then a file name in quotes. Now, the file name that we have here is gettysburg.htm. Okay? But it's not on our computer, so we have to go out to the World Wide Web and start looking for its location. Whenever we go to an external website, our file path will begin with HTTP colon and two forward slashes. After those forward slashes, we have the URL or domain name of the website we're looking for. In this case, it's showcase dot Net ends, N E T I N S dot net. Now, that's nothing more than another computer which happens to be a web server. And as a computer, it has its own directories and subdirectories, or if you choose, folders and subfolders. So, we want to be in the web directory. And within that web directory, there's another directory called creative. We want to go there. Within creative, we'll find a subdirectory called Lincoln. And we'll go there. Finally, we'll go from Lincoln to speeches. Within speeches, we will find the file gettysburg.htm. Okay? So that is a very long file path. But we didn't have to type it in. I used cut and paste. The next attribute that I've added is this target equals quote underscore blank end quote. That means that when I activate this link with a mouse click that I want the page I'm linking to to appear in its own window or tab within my browser. The reason you would want to do this is it maintains your web page presence. 
so your viewer can click back and forth from one window to the next or from one tab to the next. Your page doesn't get lost. Okay? And then we end the open anchor tag. We close that open anchor tag with a slash A. Now, this link is tagged to whatever exists between the open anchor and close anchor. In this case, it's the text Abraham Lincoln Online. So, if we go back, let's just close that. If we go back to our original page, this is our Gettysburg page, and I click on that link, that target underscore blank will cause the new browser window to, to open up, and I can go back and forth between the two web pages. Okay? That's all there is to it.